Journalism Without Hypocrisy by Matei Vishniak Translated from the Romanian by Josefina Comparali Eric rolls in several bizarre gadgets, smilometers, used to measure various degrees and types of smile. Look, my eyes feel slightly moist, my face relaxed, my mouth half open and curved up. To mark the beginning of the 10 o'clock news, I have 10 different facial expressions to choose from, graded from 0 to 9. He points at the 10 smilometers displayed on trolleys. They look like devices used to test vision but also like miniature guillotines. Ten actors, each placing their chin on a smilometer. Moving from one to the other, Eric sets their respective smile lengths. This is a smilometer, invented by myself, with which I can select the relevant smile for each occasion. With this device, I can set the expression that corresponds to the first two or three news items of the day, even the entire news bulletin. Level zero is an audible laugh. I use it on festive occasions, for New Year or Christmas, or when the country wins the Football World Cup, or when it attracts global attention for some amazing achievement. It is absolutely essential that no catastrophe or murder should disrupt such a day. He models the expression corresponding to level zero. Level one is a massive smile, a complex, even witty. He resets the expression on the actor's face to make it correspond to level one. Level two is a calm and smooth, soothing smile a sort of slide through which words flow straight into listeners' ears. The same procedure. He sets the relevant expression for level two. Level three is a formal, flat and straightforward smile, which doesn't give much away about the mood of the forthcoming half an hour. To put it differently, viewers can be prepared for pretty much anything. He sets the face attached to smilometer 3 to the relevant expression. Level 4 is a censored and repressed smile, as if it alerted viewers, I'm a warm and open person, but what I have to tell you unfortunately forces me to adopt a somber tone. Fine tunes the face to reflect the subtle details. Level 5 is just a shadow of a smile. A passing glimpse at old friends, meaning, oh, I'd, I'd really like to spend some time with you, but this breaking news won't allow me. The face in Smilometer 5 might repeat, oh, I'd really like to spend some time with you, but this breaking news won't allow me. Level 6 is reserved for professional sobriety. The expression is still humane but could barely be classed as considerate, as if I wanted to warn viewers, sorry, what you are about to hear isn't pleasant, but you have to hear about it regardless. Eric resets the expression with his wand. Level 7 is an expression of controlled concern. It is the expression for announcing a plane crash, an earthquake or a terror attack. Level 7 conveys the message, let's keep calm and assess things together, responsibly and in dignity. Resetting the next expression, Eric remodels the face and adjusts the expression at the corner of the mouth. Level 8 is almost a frown, an expression of obvious refusal regarding the enormity of the forthcoming announcement. With this, I warn those who have tuned in just to see me that I will talk about things I consider abhorring, 
events that repulse and sadden me and that in addition to the information I'm about to broadcast, I also invite my audience to join me in condemning these events. How is it possible that on an island in the Mediterranean, where thousands of people are enjoying their dream holidays, the sea should bring to the shore the bodies of hundreds of African immigrants, drowned while attempting to make it to Europe? Eric keeps adjusting the face in Smilometer 9 until the dead bodies of illegal immigrants can be glimpsed in the reflection. Level 9 is the expression that corresponds to national mourning. It heralds disastrous news. It's a warning that after watching my broadcasts, nobody should be able to carry on with their usual activities like having dinner or watching a film. It's the expression I adopt whenever there is a nuclear explosion and radioactive clouds are heading towards us. I made use of this expression when the Chernobyl nuclear plant exploded back in April 1986. Eric sets the same expression on his own face as the one in Smilometer 10. See? All done.